Hi guys, uh, this is Piper Downs coming back at you. Um, right now I'm smoking on some uh, Frog Mortons uh, on the bayou out of my uh, Dr. Grabo Bulldog pipe. Smokes good too. Um, but anyway, um, I was just watching a couple of YouTube videos. Um, and, uh, you know, honestly, actually, I was looking on Pipe Cigars, and I seen uh, a, a tin blender, or tinned blenders, by uh, McClellan's. And what it is, is it's like four or five different tins, but each of them has a pure tobacco in it. Like, one has Latakia, one has Virginia, one has Orientals, one has Burley, I think. Um, no Cavendish, though. But anyway, um... You know, I seen a, a video by Smoking Essie, and I think he does pretty decent reviews. Uh, I would say unbiased. Um, but anyway, he had the uh, straight Latakia, and uh, he said it was good and everything. But at the end, uh, he kind of, kind of said it was gimmicky. I don't know. He didn't trash it, but he just said it was gimmicky, and you know, it's kind of stupid. You know, straight Latakia, and I just kind of, you know, wanted to throw in there that those are um, blenders. You know, they, uh, those are for people who want to create their own blend using McClellan's tobaccos. Um, which actually I just put in an order for them because uh, to me I think McClellan's has fantastic blends. Um, like Frog Morton, uh, like the On the Bayou and stuff. I mean, and they have a pure Perique tin too that has nothing but Perique. So really to me I think that those are like a super handy thing to have around because you know, let's say you have a favorite uh, Virginia, you know, and um, you want to make uh, an English blend out of that. You can take your favorite Virginia, let's say Dunhill Flake or Sam Gaw with full Virginia Flake, whatever, and you can make you can ter use that Virginia to make a um, an English blend. Or you could add their Perique to that Virginia and make it a vapor you know, a Virginia Perique. Anyway, um, I think it's pretty cool that you can, uh, that McClellan offers uh, a little variety of tins that has each individual tobacco to blend yourself. I mean, because we could always buy, they have hundreds of blends, McClellan's does. We could buy McClellan, we could buy all their blends, but I think the cool thing about those tins is that you could probably get pretty darn close to recreating what they make, like a Frog Morton blend. You know, like Frog Morton, you could just take a little bit of their Virginia, throw it into the Latakia, you got yourself a, a bowl of Frog Morton. You know, you, you can basically make any McClellan blend, except for the ones that have like Syrian Latakia and stuff like that, the really special tobaccos. But any of their like standard blends, like a Frog Morton blend, you know, or Grand Orientals, you can make those with their blender tins. Now, I think that's absolutely fantastic. I don't know why, um, why that isn't a, uh, a more popular uh, thing to do to get those tins. And uh, like I was saying, Smoking Essie, he bought the Latakia tin by itself. I mean, I guess which is grand if you want to add that to other blends that you have, but he kind of bought the Latakia blend and then wasn't really all that impressed with it because it was straight Latakia, not realizing that that, that that is not supposed to be smoked by itself. That's a blender. That's something you add to other stuff, you know? It just seemed ridiculous to me how he, how, how he put it. I just, it doesn't make sense to me. Um, which I've actually ordered them, the uh, blenders. So I should have them soon, you know, and I'm gonna, you know, do a kind of a review on that and, uh, you know, tell every, all the different things that I'm gonna do with them. Anyway, I just thought it was kind of, would be an interesting uh, thing to make a video about would be the, uh, tin blenders. I don't know if anybody, if everybody, 
have seen that because I haven't seen anybody but him talk about that. I looked it up, didn't find any videos on it, and um, I just kind of thought that was a shame. 